Hello, just a quick update. As of now, we have 5,097 signatures, so thank you everybody for signing. For those of you that are in the UK, I have no idea how many of you have emailed your MPs, but we need as many people as possible to contact individual MPs to get this message out there. Uh, the more MPs we have, mentioning this in Parliament, contacting the Department of Health and Social Care, the better. Um, as I said this before, the petition and asking the public to email the MP is what the public can take part in. That is part of the Shake It Up campaign. But be in no doubt, there is an awful lot of hard work going on in the background. Um, when I say public, I mean all sorts of patient groups. I've also been touched by the amount of people that um, are seeing this petition, aren't part of a patient group, but are seeing the need for this system. Um, so thank you very much for engaging. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, as you'll see on this post, I have contacted Lord Kamal numerous times and I emailed him again last night. Um, every response I've received so far from the Department of Health and Social Care and the NHS hasn't addressed my concerns, hasn't really addressed the need for this reporting harms mechanism and it's all been very, well the nice guidelines are going to help with that, that's going to improve patient care um, or um, as Steve Topple hinted at in his article that I will also attach to this, I did post it the other day, but in case you missed it, I'll attach it to this post. Um, as Steve Topple said, there's quite a bit of patient blaming going on in terms of, well, yeah, if you've been harmed by a non-pharmaceutical treatment, then you're probably not doing it right. We know that that's wrong. Um, so we're kind of battling an entire mentality here. It's not just one or two people. It's a widespread belief, false belief, that non-pharmaceutical treatments cannot harm and do not harm patients. Um, as I've put on the petition text, although this petition has been created by me, an ME patient, patient advocate and a social entrepreneur who tackles ME, CFS with advocacy and education, there are many patient groups who will benefit from this system. And I've seen many of you signing the petition. So again, thank you. Um, please read the blog. See what I emailed to Lord Kamal yesterday. When you are emailing your MP, if you are thinking, what am I supposed to write? On the Shake It Up page on my website, I've put a few suggestions that you can copy and paste. Um, the strategy is to get as many people as possible saying the same thing to a wide range of MPs. So if that means that you have to copy and paste the text because you simply can't think of what to write, that's what it's on the website for. So thank you very much if you do choose to do that. Um, onwards and upwards, there are minimum 2 million people in the UK that will benefit from this reporting harms mechanism. So we may only have just under 5,100 signatures at the moment, but I have no doubt that that's going to grow as word spreads. Um, so any help you can give me in terms of spreading the word, I'd be very grateful.